quick video update on how the amps coil was made. Uh, this is how I made it. I'm trying a bigger one now. I measured, I used a wavelength frequency calculator, which is online and it's free. And my transmitter puts out 832 kilohertz. And a multiple or a divisible, it was a uh, divisible of that wavelength, would be 18 feet. So I measured 18 feet of wire out. And I folded it in half. And then I started from the center and wound it outward. It's just like uh, Tesla describes in one of his patents. I have the picture on my phone. I'll post it as a YouTube post and show that. Um, you really just fold the wire in half. You literally measure out 18 feet or a multiple or divisible of whatever wavelength your transmitter is putting out. You will need an oscilloscope to find that. And you will need an online calculator. It's all free and easy. The most expensive part is the oscilloscope. And so... Yeah, I just took 18 feet of wire, folded it in half, and wound the coil. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this right here, twist the leads together, and put a connection coming off it, a clip, similar to this one, right here. I just covered it in tape to protect it from arcing out. I just put a lead coming off the center. And this thing will give you massive amps when you slide it in and out of the transmitter when it's cut to the correct frequency. As you see, this coil is the exact length of the extra coil. And that's why it works so well. It sat in here like that. Almost sits in perfectly. It was measured. And that's how I was lighting the halogen bulbs. That in combination with a couple antennas and a rectifier circuit, which is right here. You need the rectifier circuit. I had to double them up because it was blowing the diodes. And yeah, once again, here's a look at the amps coil. Hope that helps. And yeah, cheers.